Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today I'm going to show you how to put a basket on the wall. As you can see, I already installed the one right here and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place the second one on the wall here as well. Okay, here's an example of what tools you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need some type of a drill to drill in the wall, a hammer to tap in the mollies, a pencil, a ruler, and a Phillips head screwdriver because that's the the ones that we're using now are Phillips heads, so we need Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to use a speed bit like this, just in case we can use the drill to drive the screws in. And of course, we need a couple of drill bits to put the pilot hole in and then to drill it out if we need to put the molly in the wall. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you're going to determine where you want to place the basket. In this particular case, we decided that this is where it's going to be right here. So that's where we're going to mount it. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab your measuring tape and you want to measure from this point to this point and you want to make sure you have the same measurement here and here so that the basket is not crooked of course. All right next thing we're going to do after we determine where we're going to put the basket we need to find out if there's a stud inside the wall and the way you can do it you can take a stud finder to find out but if you don't have one you can just tap on the wall can hear where the stud is. Now we know this is probably going to be a stud right in this area right here, but we're not sure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our drill with a very small drill bit before we do anything. We're going to put a 1 16th or a 1 8th in, of an inch drill bit in here. We're going to come over to the predetermined spot where we decided the basket is going to go. And we're going to drill a very, very small pilot hole to see if the stud is in the wall right here. Because if you put the basket up, you may need to install a molly. If there's a stud there, then we're not going to use the molly. We're just going to screw the screw directly into the stud that's in the wall. But we need to determine if it's there first. All right, so we mark where we're going to put the, the pilot holes. And now we're just going to drill them very slowly through here just to make sure that there's no stud behind it. Now, there's a stud directly behind here. You can hear it. So we're just going to drill just a little bit more into that because we want to put a, a pilot hole into the stud so we can screw it in easier. Okay, so that one we drilled. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to do the exact same thing here just to see if there's a stud back here. Now you see here there is no stud. You can see how it just goes right in. There's no stud there. Here there is a stud because we couldn't go in. Remember, it's hitting the stud. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to drill this hole slightly larger so we could put in this molly right here. So we have our drill bit to accommodate the molly. And we're going to drill it slightly bigger right here. tap it in until it's flush, until this part of the molly is flush against the wall. All right, now remember this one here, there's a stud behind it, so we don't need to install this molly. We're just going to screw in this screw. All right? Okay, so now after we have our mollies in there, we're going to take our basket and we're going to install the basket on the wall. If we can get in here with the, the drill, with the Phillips head bit, we will. But if not, we'll do it by hand. So for right now, we're just going to catch it a couple of threads right here, just like that. And then we're going to grab our second screw, put it in here. a couple of threads here as well.
that's it. We're just going to make sure it's nice and tight, which it is. So now our basket is attached to the wall. On one side is in the stud, the other side has got the molly, and this is done. It's not going any place. All right, but just make sure you have the, you know where the stud is before you drill a bigger hole, because you don't want to have a real big hole in the, in the wood, and then it will not accommodate the screw. So make sure you know if there's a stud behind it or not. And that's it. This job is done, and we're on to the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Now, as tempted as you may be not to use the drywall anchor, don't do it because you'll be kicking yourself later on. After a short period of time, this, this basket being on the wall, and if you have anything in it, it's going to start to loosen up where the screws are not going to hold tight, and it's going to wind up pulling the basket off of the wall and probably causing a larger hole than you really want to see. So take the time, install the, the mollies or drywall anchors, and you'll be very happy that you did. I will put a, up in the top of this video, I will put a clickable link up there that you can click on to see exactly how mollies work and why I, I say to use these anchors or mollies inside the wall. Basically what happens is when you screw the screw in through the anchor, it opens up in the back behind the drywall and it it winds up creating a very tight, snug fit in there, so it won't pull out. All right, so click on the link, take a look at the uh, the video, and uh, you'll see what I mean about the drywall anchors.